Once in a while, you have to think outside the box when it comes to college football handicapping, and that's exactly what I've done when looking at this Saturday night's matchup between the LSU Tigers and the Texas A&M Aggies, a game that will be played uh, before 100,000 strong at College Station and uh, also 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time kickoff on ABC. Right now, L or I, a and M, excuse me, a two-and-a-half point home favorite, the total 53-and-a-half. But I said thinking out of the box, and it's not totally thinking out of the box, but I'm going to look at the first half total here, which is 26-and-a-half. a and m over their last three games, there's been a combined 30 points scored in the first half of all three of those contests. And AM is averaging 19.4 points per game scored in first half action this year. The LSU Tigers, on the other hand, their last three first halves, uh, there's been a combined 30.3 points per game. Let me clarify that. LSU, over their last three games, there's been a combined 30.3 points scored per game in the first half of those contests. LSU is averaging 18.6 points per game in the first half this year. So you could see that both of these teams have been strong out of the gate by their average point total in first half action. And uh, LSU has been even better than that over their last three games, averaging 21.3 points per game scored in first half action. Uh, also, Brian Kelly, since he's taken over as head coach at LSU, he's played 5-0 and to the over in the against the first half total in road games when facing opponents with a win percentage of 750 or greater, which LSU currently has. And those games have averaged an enormous 43.8 points scored per game during first half action. So a lot of great supporting stuff. Uh, and then I have a college football uh, betting angle that applies to the first half total. Uh, anytime you have a team like LSU that has a first half total of 25 to 28, and they're coming off a conference road win like the Tigers are, and they're facing an opponent like Texas A&M, who's also coming off a road win or coming off that road win against uh, Mississippi State. Those games have played 57 and 24 to the over against the first half number. That's 70.4%, and that dates back all the way to 2015. As a matter of fact, those 81 games, the first half total average was 26.3, and uh, there was a combined 30.6 score points scored per game during first half action in those 81 contests. So we're going to go LSU, Texas A&M over the first half total of 26 and a half. Just a friendly reminder, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, take a second to do so. It's 100% free, folks, and uh, you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world. You know, I had somebody uh, who wanted to fade me last week on one of my videos, and he referred to me as a um, community handicapper. And when you say that to me, and when you say you're saying it to the rest of the guys on Wager Talk TV, that's the furthest thing from the truth, folks, and that's a, it's the surest way to piss one of us off because we're professionals. We do this uh, full-time, and community handicappers have to do with these betting forums you know you see across the Internet where people voice their opinions uh, on who they like that particular week. So uh, just keep that in mind. It's, it's Look, I mean, I have to bring it to your attention. It's not an insult, and it's certainly not meant – uh, to be uh, demeaning by any stretch. In any event, my college football premium picks, folks, uh, since December of 2022, 110 and 75, it's good for 59%. It's also good for a net profit of $8,456. That's number one in money earned in college football during that course of time over at Wager Talk. Uh, since September the 28th, my college football NFL combined 21 and 14, and that's the spite coming off a losing week in both college football and the NFL. So you can see how red hot I was up until that point, and I'm going to bounce back this week. Matter of fact, I had my first losing week in college football in six weeks, and I also uh, had my first losing Sunday in the NFL in the past four Sundays. So uh, that shows you how well I was doing up until that point, and all that means is I'm going to win this week. 
So jump aboard, folks, and let's make some money. NBA is upon us. The season opened last night. I'm recording on Wednesday the 23rd. The season opened on Tuesday the 22nd. It's full board now. And uh, my NBA sides, 105 and 66, 61%. Uh, that's since April 11th of 2022. That's a long stretch, folks. And over the course of time, uh, with that 171 picks and that win percentage of 61%, I've made $2,456 or $46 as a net profit. That's $10,246 as a net profit based on the grading system that we use at Wager Talk. Also, MBA overall, that's uh, everything, just not the sides, the totals as well. Uh, I've gone 55 and 36, which is good, again, for 61%. And uh, that goes back to February 23rd of this year. And uh, that's been good for a net profit of $5,455. Don't forget to hit that like button, folks. I would appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't done so already, just click that subscribe button. 100% free to do so. I'll be back tomorrow with some NFL free pick videos. So stay tuned for that. Until then, take care and God bless, folks.